HG Tools plugin for Autodesk Revit, Video Manual Part 2, Google Maps, Google Earth, and FEMA Flood Maps. Okay, so these three tools, guys, all they do is they take your project address from Revit, and then they open it in uh, either of those three websites, and they actually bring you to that location. So I'm just going to give you a quick example, and as you see here, my address is 3500 Boardwalk Wildwood. Uh, it's in the default Revit parameter, the project address. So I'm just going to click FEMA Flood Maps, and it's going to load us and take us to that location. Let's see, there we are. Here's our profile location, and it's right on the border, but it is zone AE. Uh, I live on the Jersey Shore. I uh, use flood maps quite often, so it just makes life a little bit easier. You do have to be careful. There are preliminary maps and there's active flood maps. To take like the worst case scenario, uh, that is your responsibility and due diligence. So know your ordinances slash building codes. Okay, so let's try out Google Earth. It's going to do the same thing. Just go onto the Google Earth website. Now Google Earth is the slowest of them all. It's just the website it takes a while to load, but it is pretty nice. So let's just wait for it to load. And here we are. See, same exact site location, just in Google Earth now. Now, last but not least, Google uh, Maps. Same exact thing, looks pretty quick, but it's going to open this site address inside of Google uh, Maps. Now, what I use Google Maps for is I actually like to snip it and put it on a cover sheet. So let me do that really quick. Okay, so I would do this. Just make sure you get that. Oops, I got that little side over there. Let me try to get it. Make sure you get that Google logo. I bet they'll be upset if you don't use it. So let me get that. Save it to the desktop. And here we go. Now all I do is I basically drag it onto the cover sheet. And let's just make it a little bit smaller. There we are, and here's our location. What I also like to do is put this project location with an arrow, just on the same thing. Uh, it just makes it easier to read. Um, now Google Earth, what I actually use it for is to find the north arrow on the site. Uh, it makes my life easier. I don't have to think about how to rotate it and do, uh, let's say, geometry in my head. So let me show you real quick. Say, this is, of course, a fake building and a fake site. So here's our, my project north, and I want to make the north arrow point the right way. Let me go back to Google Earth. Here it is. And let's say the building is oriented this way. Here's my building. As you see, uh, Google Earth, it shows you the north arrow right here. So it's pointing into the bottom left corner. So let's go back to Revit. I'm going to click my arrow, add a type. And with this guy, the way it works, I just plug in degrees, so negative 135. And voila, here we go. Uh, so, yep, that's it. That's the Google Maps, Google Earth, and FEMA Flood Maps for you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next part.